Hello everyone and welcome to episode 38 of Let's Play Diablo 2. In this episode we're going to finish exploring the Arcane Sanctuary and hopefully not die. Yeah, can't make any promises. Let's go this way. Teleport maze! Die, ghost! Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. I'm working on it. Yay, fifteen thousand of my dollars are gone or whatever. Yeah, that that happens every single time you die. It's goddamn annoying. I need to find a way back there. Just just uh teleport to the middle. Use the thing. Hello, Grays. Resurrect my bitch. What was it called? Just the arcane, arcane Sanctuary? Yeah, Arcane Sanctuary. I can't even go over there, what the fuck? I'm not going over there. I'm gonna die as soon as I go over there. Do not stand in the fucking fire! I need to summon something. Oh, it's because there's a unique one. Okay, um, you're gonna want to go to the one over where your golem is, that teleporter. To get to where wow. I am. This teleport, this teleport maze works in weird ways. See? You can have that one if you want it. The yeah, the jewel, yeah. the not jewel, the gem. Oh Jesus! remember which takes me where. Okay, that took me here. No! Die! Oh god, that's your friend's dick again! What the fuck, old man? Oh god. Dead. Dead. Let's dead him. Let's make him dead. Like dead. Dead. In the bed. From a shot to the head. <laughs> Die. He, um... Way to go, Chica. I hate, I hate that these traps don't trigger and hurt them. It just triggers and hurts us. Logic. Yep. Oh my god, so much gold. Oh my god, it's everywhere. Gold, 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 gold. You can have the wand. You can have that wand there. Oh, my chick's dead. That's because you died. Hunter's bow, get the fuck out of here. I'm just, I wish I could find that one band that you fucking showed me that one time. Where every single member of it was wearing masks, and the guitar was either 
it was one oh my chugging God. things yeah, I remember that. over and over and over again, or the guitar <laughs> was tuned in such a way that you could not tell the difference between different chords. Was that the... And... <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was that the fucking video where the vocalist was like, he had that, he had that um, that mat, it was a black mask, it was like one of those like skin tight kind of like ski mask things, and had no shirt on, and had these like skin tight jeans on or whatever. Yeah, and then he kept and like, he was, like doing this orgasm <laughs> noises into the mic, and then growling for a he while. Was, like, he was like doing that thrust dance move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he kept he kept like throwing his head up and doing orgasm noises in the mic, and then the rest of the time he was like, and I'm like, you suck! Stop trying! He was like, he was like, <laughs> yeah, I wish I could remember what that was <laughs> because I want to show that to people. Be like, listen to how terrible this man is. I think it started with an A or something, but I can't remember what it was called though. I don't know. Go into my portal, would you? Oh God, I want to watch that now. I wish I could remember I what it I, was because it was I think I horrible. It, but I don't know. It was horrible. Which portal? A pad or whatever. This one. Wow. It was. Oh my God! It was so funny. Like the. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All the vocals sounded like pretty much exactly like whatever the fuck that was. If it passes for vocals on pure fucking Armageddon. Oh, like the fucking toilet bowl vocal. It was like. Ah, God, that demo is so. Uh, like, I love Mayhem. I love them to death. That demo sucks. Shit. And it sounds you know? like literally like shit going down the toilet bowl. I want to get their new album because it's supposed to be pretty good. I, I have it. Is it good? From what I heard. I didn't hear the entire album yet, but I heard a couple songs off of it when I got it. Because Chimera was good. I didn't hear Ordo Ad KO yeah, or whatever either. it was called. But when they got back together with the, the guy that sang on uh, their first God. album. I don't like his. Like I'm not a big. I am not like a big fan of his vocal stuff. Obviously, he's not doing the kind of vocals that he did on that album for the new. Yeah, movie. I know. I mean, I've like, heard a song or two. Like, I'm, I'm, mainly, I'm mainly referring to his work on the debut. I just don't like his vocals on that at all. I, I like it because of how weird and unique it is. Yeah, like it's it's unique and it's weird, but it's the type of weird that just like makes me not. I don't know. Like the like the vocals on Funeral Fog are so fucking bad. Oh my god, I hate them so much. I, I like I said, I like them because they're weird and unique. It's like, what the fuck? I don't know. Like I said, I don't they don't sound like <laughs> anybody else, and that's cool to me. But like, Funeral Fog. <laughs> what the fuck? Some guy was bitching at me the other day about. I was trying. I was like, why does everybody in the world say that Arch Enemy sucks? Like, okay, you, most people's reasons have to do with the fact that their singer is female. And, uh, like. Did you have you listened to the rest of the stuff? Like, there's more to Arch Enemy than just a female singer. Michael Hammond is a member of the band. God damn it! I don't know. He's cool. I never liked Arch Enemy. He was a he was a member of Carcass. Carcass is cool. Then they, I don't know, Carcass went through a lot of fucking changes. They like, um. Like, they were um, fucking like gore grind slash grindcore. Then they went to death metalish. Then they went to fucking weird like not avant garde, but it's like weird like hard rockish sound on Swan Song. And then they went to melodic death metal on the new album. 
well, the the mo- melodic death metal is what they should stick with because that's what they're best. Because like I heard, like I heard the first half of Swan Song, and it's really fucking weird. I'm gonna go get more potions. I'll be right like, back. Yeah, I don't know if you heard Swan Song, but it's just really fucking I, weird. I haven't heard Swan Song. Like it's like it sounds like hard rock, but it, with like de- it sounds like um, de- you know what death and roll is? It's like a fucking like death metal and rock and roll mix or whatever. But that's what it kind of sounds like. I can't say I know that. Yeah, is there, there's an actual genre called death and roll, and it's I don't know. I guess it sound, just sounds like hard rockish. Yeah, I haven't I haven't heard Swan Song, but Heartwork is fucking amazing. Yeah, heart, yeah Heartwork's really cool. Heartwork is awesome, and, and their new album. Is and, great yeah, kind of wish I got that on cassette, but I got it, I got it on CD, which is the next best thing. Yeah, I got it on CD too. It's on vinyl. It's on, yeah, on vinyl too, and then. I got the I have the jewel case. Oh no, wait. Yeah, I have the jewel case version, and then there's also a digipack version, but I don't have that one. So yeah, I've got the digipack version. It's got a uh, it's got an extra song on oh, it. I just got the jewel case, and I listened to that extra song, and I'm like, yeah, I can understand why you guys would have cut this from the main release. Because <laughs> compared to the rest, it's not that it's a bad song. Just compared to the rest of the album, it's not very good. It's not up to the standards of like fucking granulated satanic mills or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Fucking mountain of execution. Fucking badass. Yeah, I know, right? I, I love uh, that. That uh, That's one of the best albums of last year, I think. I don't know, one of my favorite albums of last year. 2013, right? Yeah, um... I, I, obviously, Dark Throne's gonna be on there, even though... The fuck, I was gonna say, The Underground Resistance. Even though the fucking high vocals are terrible as shit and they're really bad but other than that the riffs are good the music's good the normal vocals not the high vocals are good and what else the, the new the burzum from last year was good i didn't hear the burzum yeah it's just ambient um, stuff there's others that i really liked i like jason newstead's new band i thought that yeah. they they had like this old school style that was a lot of fun what else is what the hell? Wait, what else is last year? There's um, Gokark in this. Uh, Voivod, Voivod, yeah. Released Target Earth. That was it. wasn't bad at all. It's pretty good. Um, Not last year. What the fuck? God, and I bought a lot of them too. Satyricon had no, yeah. but I was disappointed with that one. Oh my God, sir. I'm drawing blanks right now. What the fuck? Like I don't, I don't think about it too often. I guess that's why. I don't know. I just can't. Def having released uh, hipster black metal, and even though it's hipster black metal, it's re- dude, your chicks are fighting shit over there. It's really good hipster black metal. Like I love the al- uh, Sunbather is a great album. It's one of the best ones of last year as well. Oh yeah. It's like a mix of like post rock and like black metal. Oh, okay. So like if you can imagine someone throwing like explosions in the sky into the same blender as Dark Throne, you'd get death. Oh, rate. um what about Black Sabbath from last year? Yeah, Black Sabbath had a new album, and that one was yeah, a good yeah, one. Yeah, I liked um, it. I really like Black Sabbath's new album. Um 13. The Dream Calls for Blood was really, really oh, good yeah, too, that by too. Death Angel. Yeah. I, I listened to that one a lot. Wait, wait, where are you? Oh, you're going that way. Yeah, I got the new Sabbath on vinyl. I just got it on CD. Did you get the extra tracks? No, I, mine has the least number of tracks you could ever possibly get on that release. So does mine. <laughs> like, my dad has the Digipack version. It has, like, those three bonus songs, like... And which is like one of which is actually really good. Like it should have been on the fucking album as like a normal release song, but yeah, um, Pariah or something. Yeah, it's called Pariah. Has a cool riff. Yeah. Season of Mist re-released. Um, oh god, they, they released a lot. <laughs> Seasons of Mist re-released Iljarn's first three yeah. albums. What last year? Oh, right, speaking of re-releases, that massacre thing you showed. I actually, I actually might get that. Yeah, I shared that this time because they actually put a release oh, okay, date. Oh yeah, I might get the which is Friday. I might yeah, I might get the Biohazard one before it sells out. Hopefully, 
The biohazard color is like yellow, black splatter, or whatever. Yeah, I kind of want the massacre one. I'm not uh, that like, big on yeah, massacre. Yeah, that's what I'm. I was thinking the same thing because like, like they're from from Beyond is a good album and it has. Promise is a terrible album. Yeah, yeah pro Promise is absolute shite on a fucking. I don't know. Just sucks ass. And then the pro like, Promise sounds like. They were trying to be Pantera and had no idea how to be Pantera. Like, oh, let's have these love, like, heartbreak lyrics and have this weird, like, not even, not death metal, but let's just have, like, this weird ass fucking, not, like, mainstream ish sound in a way. Have I remember sending a song to a friend of mine, uh, a friend of Nathan's, and he was like, this is what became of Massacre? And I'm like, yeah. yeah pretty much. He's like, it's awful. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. So that, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and then... I got curious about their second album, and I looked it up, and I regretted it. <laughs> and then there's um, the new album they released, which is... Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that was another one from last year, too. The Back From Beyond. Back From Beyond. Even though I, 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 heard it, I heard it sucks. It's got to be better than Promise. Oh, yeah, but, like... <laughs> I heard it's, like, really, like, generic and mediocre. Well, even generic mediocre death metal is an up yeah. is a step up from fucking promise. Even from Beyond's really kind of generic in a way too. Well, from Beyond's biggest problem is that they couldn't keep a stable lineup to record the damn thing, so it got put out like it should have been put out in like '88, and it wasn't when it wouldn't have sounded generic and boring. Yeah. Because death metal was still a brand new thing at the time. And then it got released in 1991 when other other bands were already releasing yeah, like Gorguts are, just badass death metal yeah, albums. Yeah, like Gorguts like, was releasing their Considered Dead. and I, I think uh, I think Left Hand Path was out by yeah. then. I don't know, like all the songs don't like go anywhere either. It seems like, like they don't have like a payoff or you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they have, like, the same, like, verse, and they have that bridge, and they have the verse, and they have a... And, and, yeah, just, it has, like, the same formula for all the songs. You can have the rest of the crap that's on the ground there. Yeah, it's, uh... It's gotta be... I mean, their new album has gotta be better than fucking... Oh, yeah. I'm sure it has to be better to, you know. It, it, generic boring death metal would be better than Promise. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Even the cover sucks ass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Massacre is a really mad band anyway. Even that EP they released back in like 92 is kind of mad too. I haven't heard it's that. It's like one. it's just it's like it's like from beyond, but as an EP, like songs from beyond, but they're on an EP. It just sounds it's just more like generic-ish sounding death metal. Yeah, like I said, it should have been released in like '88 because the, I mean their first demo was in like '85 or '86, and they didn't release an album until '91. So yeah. it took them forever to get that damn album out. It's like fucking Mr. Bungle or something. They've been around since like 84. And it took them until 91 to put out the first album. And that's a fucking band that really changed your goddamn sound. Oh my god. Die! It's like Mr. Bungle started off as a death metal band, then they turn into avant-garde experimental stuff. Yeah, I I've heard like one Mr. Bungle song. It was like something about macaroni. Oh yeah, squeeze me macaroni. I love that fucking song. Oh my god, I love that song so much. Holy shit! Holy shit! I'm getting zapped to shit and back. Nick knack patty wick. And give your dog a bone, baby. God damn it, no! You should put up their demo. Their first demo. Like, I think... I think I'm about to lose fucking connection. God damn it. 
Come on! Oh yeah, I'm fucked. The game is just frozen yeah, for me. I think I'm too. about to lose connection. Yeah, mine's doing that too. Oh, that's wonderful. We didn't even get the fucking thing to the Canyon of the Magi. Oh, God. Yep. There it is. Yeah, it's dead. <sighs> Jesus. Now we're not gonna have one single inch of the fucking place explored. Oh, God. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode and we're gonna find it. Find the Canyon of the Magi. Yeah. Thank you everybody for watching this episode of Let's Play Diablo 2. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. We will talk to you guys next time. Thanks everybody. Bye. Bye.